hello viewers uh, today's topic is uh, uh, encephalitis and uh, meningitis you know uh, encephalitis is an inflammation of the brain and uh, the meningitis is an inflammation of the membranes uh, that surround the brain and the spinal cord and uh, now both uh, encephalitis and the meningitis can be caused by bacteria or viruses and uh, uh, they are rarely uh, fungus uh, or be non-infectious you know uh, so which means that most of the time, the time uh, they are bacteria or uh, viral infections and the causes are inf infection you know? uh, now the headache and the fever are the most common symptoms of the encephalitis and meningitis and the stiff neck uh, confusion and the uh, uh, lethargy can also be uh, present you know uh, now the diagnosis is usually made by performing a lumbar puncture or the spinal type test you know so which the doctor will uh, take a fluid from the spinal cord and uh, uh, send it through the lab for the uh, test you know uh, now the and doctor may advise uh, uh, the imaging tests like a CT scan and MRI uh, of the brain and uh, uh, can also be helpful and usually it's done uh, in addition to the spinal type test and the treatment depends on uh, identifying the underlying cause uh, if the bacteria is causing the infection then the antibiotics are uh, indicated you know uh, but uh, anyone experiencing uh, symptoms of encephalitis or meningitis uh, uh, you should see a doctor uh, straight away uh, now the basic methods to prevent the spread of the infections uh, uh, can help uh, uh, to prevent the spread of some of the forms of the meningitis you know and uh, you can do that simply by washing hands and covering one's mouth and coughing you know so by just uh, um, taking these uh, simple actions you can uh, uh, protect others you know uh, now being cur uh, current on vaccinations uh, will help to prevent uh, certain forms of meningitis too. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about uh, encephalitis or meningitis or any other medical condition, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you and goodbye.